Charles Oliveira. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, folks, round one is underway. Good to have you with us tonight. This could be a very technical fight, and if you are someone who likes the jiu-jitsu game, this is not a fight you want to miss. We've got a different audience tonight. Yeah. Because when this one was announced, the whole entire jiu-jitsu world took notice. They said, wow, we get to watch these two fighters compete in the UFC. It's something we've wanted for years. Just has to happen in the octagon. It did not happen in the jiu-jitsu competition, but they're more than happy to tune in and watch this great fight. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked with the leg. He's turning away. Oh! News hurt. Serves him up. Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, the opponents seem to think he had short up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, huh. but you don't know until the guy's in front of you. It, now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. A triangle, a triangle. And he's out. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. A triangle, a triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to the ball. And he's out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got... He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack with an arm triangle. A triangle, a triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Round two now, Nate Diaz versus Charles Oliveira. And he switches his stance yet again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like a basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus fence in his opponent. Nice. Kick to the body by Oliveira. 46 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Landing at a 54% clip tonight against Charles Dufrox Oliveira. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Start looking to try to attack.
attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high punch. Oh! And he flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Trying to set up a choke here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Under a minute now to go. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Diaz, his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Right on the elbow. By the time, time. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big off punch land. Now he gets back to range. You're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice move to the body, just what he needed there. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Watch knees to the body. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Big knee lands there. Oh, faints upstairs and lands just to the point. Maybe stop very soon. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so 77 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Charles Oliver. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out of space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Looked like he might have landed there in standing shot and a miss. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle.
All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watch the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory, but we shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28, Vera de Silva. Judge two scores it, 9-28, Diaz. And judge three scores it, 9-28, declared the winner by split decision, Charles the Bronx Olivera! All right, well, congratulations to him there, and I think five years from now, they'll forget that it was a split and not a unanimous decision, but that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight, and that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world, to walk to the center not knowing